tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. Chef Ramsay heads to the north end of Boston to an Italian restaurant. He's coming! Owned by two sisters who couldn't be more different. Shut your face! Lisa hides from the problems. You just leave me alone. While emotional Rita is a nervous wreck. I'm starting to tremble. But together, this duo managed to shatter a number of basic rules. I'm not listening to any more rules. They drink. Are you drunk? They smoke. And they even fight with their customers. Stick your finger in the ravioli and tell me it's cold now. And to make matters worse, they are in complete denial. It is not my fault. The owners blame the staff for the restaurant's failures. Whose fault is that after all? Yours? No, it's yours. And the staff blames the owners. This business is not under my name. It's under both of your names. It's a vicious cycle of the blame game. I was working my ass that day. So, so was, was he. That has the restaurant spinning out of control. I can't deal with this fucking stupidity. On top of all of that, the food is disgusting. Really bad. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. And the kitchen has no standards. You've just dropped it on the floor. No. Can Chef Ramsay save this volatile restaurant? Don't shout at her. Don't you start. I'll drag you outside. And what? What are you going to do? Or will the sisters refuse his help? You disgust me. And show him the door. You walk out, I'm out. I want him to leave. He's in my space. Get him out of here. What is that? You're serving rotten food. We could possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here! That is amazing. Boston's North End, also known as Little Italy, is home to cobblestone streets, over 80 Italian eateries, including La Galleria 33, a family restaurant opened in 2006 by sisters Rita and Lisa. In 1965, my dad moved here from Italy worked in a few restaurants, and in 1985, he was able to open his own. It's called Losteria. Hey, Bob, bye. There was immediate success in Losteria. My sister and I grew up there and worked there. Are we gonna call my mama? Following the success of their parents' restaurant and with their parents' financial help, Lisa and Rita branched out and opened La Galleria 33, just under 100 feet away. When we opened, we expected Gallery at 33 and we'd have immediate success because that is what my father found. Let it be a reservation. <laughs> we figured at some point we would get busy, but it just, it never took off. Everybody's abandoning us. Where are they all going? I don't know. Not only do we look at each other and try to figure out what's wrong with it, I'm not sure I know what to do. We start doing crazy things like, I'll stop blaming it on the weather. Well, it's too hot, they can't eat today. It's snowing. It's raining, they can't park and walk. And... It's the beginning of the month, nobody has money, they have to pay their rent. These aren't our clients, all they got shorts on. There's a game. We've taken the tablecloths off, we put them back on. We lowered the prices. We put the curtains up, we took the curtains down. Put 95 at the end of the prices. My mother's thought of why this place didn't work was because the font, are you ready for this? The font on the menu was too small. My head is killing me, where's that coffee? You want Tylenol? I don't know how to fix it, I don't. Cause I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm pretty sure this is what a nervous breakdown feels like. I know what the problem is, it's the owners. They wanna get slapped tonight. Huh? Slapped, left yeah. and right. Get the fuck out of here. They treat people really bad. Go talk to the customers, go entertain them while they're waiting for the fucking food. We are very unprofessional. Shut up. Pat, don't add to my fucking stress today. Lisa drinks and Rita smokes everywhere. Am I like the only smoker left in America? Everyone makes such a big deal about me smoking. Rosa, go do something. That's my spot. We're like staffed by a bunch of nuts. Rosa, could you not do that? Thanks. She told me to sweep. She's sweeping, Lisa. She's sweeping it on me, though. Don't sweep it on my sister, Cinderella. I hate you. We need help. We really do. I think after so many years of this being unsuccessful, we're slowly not caring. I, I shouldn't say not caring, like we're, we're used to it. These are a lot of bills, for real. I'm getting very nervous right now. There's so much invested, and if it, if it doesn't at some point start to make money, 
this could be the cause of my mother and father like losing everything. They built so much, and I don't want to be the, the reason why, you know, God forbid, they would have lost everything. That's why it's very sad. Wow, there's a lot of Italian restaurants. Rita, I gotta throw my gum and I can't swallow Just it. Just swallow it. Just spit it over there. No way. Hold on. I did it. That was difficult. I'm not swallowing mine. I'm gonna keep my breath minty fresh. Oh, man. Hi. 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 Oh, God. Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hello, Hello, how are you? Very good. Nice to see you. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Sarah, good to see you. Good to see you. Are the owners here? Here we are. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, we greet Sarah. you from Sorry. behind oh, here. Me. How are you? I thought you were a customer. Lisa, nice to see you. Lisa, nice to see you. I'm Rita. Rita, uh, nice to see you both. Right. Uh, I'm your customer, so I'm so sorry. No, no. no uh, let's go have a little seat. Uh, do you normally sit out there? I didn't know he was coming. He just came like a bat out of hell and went inside. He didn't even. Stop. First of all, I'm happy to be here. But you guys are partners, right? Yes. Uh, give me a little bit of background. Our parents um, opened Losteria in 85. I was four. Oh, your mum and dad have a restaurant? Yep, five doors In up. Boston? Yes, five, five doors. Five doors down? Yes. Correct. Right across the street, diagonally. You're kidding me. I know. I just walked past it. Yes. You did. So okay. we decided, let's Ranch try off. and open another one. We know what we're doing, we thought. Galleria 33, what does that mean? 33 comes from where? It, Rita, let Rita explain. I was 33 when we opened this. It means this. nothing to me. No. Well, you're not 33 yet. Wait till the fabulous things start happening when you're 33. The gallery was like art gallery. The art gallery. We wanted the wall to be replicas of like famous artwork, and we hired this painter, if you can call him that. We started to paint naked cherubs, and we had to fire naked. him. Naked cherubs. Oh. They were on the ceiling. They were on the ceiling. They were on the wall. Like me. There was a woman with her breasts out, like eating dinner. Who eats dinner like that? Who eats dinner in the nude? Are you chewing gum? No. No. What did you chew? I swallowed it. I swallowed it. No. Oh. <laughs> so you've stopped chewing gum? I don't normally ever Not chew healthy. gum. Yeah, but you shouldn't be swallowing it either. I was afraid of what you were going to say if I said yes. <laughs> no, but uh, so you are chewing gum. I was chewing gum. And now you just swallowed it? Yes. I went to Catholic school. So we used to have to take the gum and put it on our nose and spend the whole day like that. So, I mean, I don't know why Chef Ramsay would have told me to put gum on my nose. <laughs> right. May I have a glass of water, please? Sure, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, tell me, how's the business? We're getting by by the skin of our teeth. It's like really... No, right. we're actually not getting by. We're like in debt. Yeah, we wow. lose money every single month. Well, we're not getting by. Wow. I think you said what? water, oh, Sarah, yeah. honey. Oh, yeah. shit. What? Uh, water. Oh, I'm water sorry. Please. No, don't worry. A little bit too early for him. <laughs> <laughs> Never too early. <laughs> uh, it is. Lisa loves wine. She likes to drink. Okay. She likes to drink. She loves wine. She does. Uh, while she's working, have a couple of glasses. She drinks. I smoke and she drinks. I mean, since we're airing my dirty laundry, oh, I'll let her air her own. Cut that out. Don't say that she drinks. Lisa's great. I didn't think Rita needed to tell Chef Ramsay that I drink. I think he would have probably seen that tonight anyway. How's the service? Hmm. Not happy with the service? Well, the servers here are very temperamental, and they sit down for hours at that table behind they there. They sit down? They don't bother checking their tables, cleaning anything. The customers would have to get up with their credit card things so they could pay. Are you kidding me? I yeah. swear to God. Wow. They get really nice customers here, and they should yeah. be getting good service. Not... Thank you for the update. Is there anything else I need to know uh, before I get going? Uh... Well, uh, the chef is my ex-husband. Say that again? I was married to him. The chef is your ex-husband. Sounds like a soap opera. Yes. So, the ex-husband. What's it like working together on a daily basis? He's a grudge. He's difficult, doesn't take criticism well. But he also he can cook. He can cook, yes. It's because these are my parents' recipes yeah. that he's cooking. He has no recipes of his own? Oh, no, no, no. My dad trained him. He wasn't a trained chef. 
You have to understand, this is a total head fart. I know, we're very sorry. No, no, no. My head's spinning. My head's spinning. After an informative meeting with owners Lisa and Rita, Chef Ramsay is anxious to try the food. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to meet you. Made by head chef Doug, who happens to be Rita's ex-husband. He's so nice. <laughs> I like him. He's, He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's going to eat now. He's going to eat. I'll see if he's still nice. <laughs> he's going to be nice. He's a nice guy. You know something? I'm starting to tremble. I don't see you tremble. I'm trembling inside. Oh, inside. How are you? I'm very good. good. I'm Sarah. Go on, please. Sarah, nice to see you, darling. Very nice to meet and you. So, how long have you been here? About two years. Two years. You know, you need to take those heels off because I can't see. They're too big. But don't stand in front of me. No, they don't see me. I arrived, they're set outside. Is that normal? It's very normal here. And Rita mentioned about Lisa drinking on service. Does she drink at the end of the night? Yes, she drinks while customers are still here. Oh, dear. The owners, they don't know how to run the restaurants, and they don't want to improve themselves to improve the restaurant. Don't talk to me. There is no organization at all. Wow. Not here, not in the kitchen, nowhere. Wow, that's not good. They have no responsibility. They have no concern. It feels like this place for them is just, oh, I'm working. You're not really working. Wow, that's I mean, they're, they're treating like their, like, like their bar as opposed to their business. Yeah. Why does she say that? Because she's an imbecile. That's not even true. She's a oh. traitor, Benedict Arnold. Skank. Uh, I've got to go for the homemade gnocchi. Thank you. Homemade gnocchi. Yes, please. And then a chicken marcella, please. Marcella. Yeah. I'll go for the veal paradiso. OK, sure. What else? I'm really hoping he doesn't get the seafood ravioli. They're not, they're not good. We have seafood ravioli special. Oh, my god. I, I, I'll take it. Why not? OK. Lisa, this bitch is selling the ravioli special. What is wrong with her? You know, I hate her. Please tell me you didn't order the raviolis. They've been complaining about the ravioli special, Sarah, all weekend. Why did you even tell them? Go ahead. It's a good that he will know about it. No, Sarah, it isn't. No. That's actually not the case, Sarah. You're a fucking freak, and that was a crazy thing to do. I'm gonna kill her. What, what did you order? A lot of food? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Gnocchi, chicken marsala, il paradiso, seafood ravioli. Wow. He must be very hungry. Uh, sir. You got two seconds? I am so afraid right now. Why? Because I know what's coming next. Oh, what's your first name? Pat. Pat. This, for me, is a new journey in life, because I've always been a shoe salesman. Seriously? Not a man's shoe salesman. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, women. So you're not a cobbler? Exclusively, no. Oh, I was going to say. Lisa. Right. It's Pat. Yeah, it's Pat. Oh, I don't really I don't even want to deal with that. How would you rate the food? Um, the only issue is that I cannot eat Italian food because I'm gluten intolerant. So uh, what are you here? I'm a combination of everything. I'm like manager slash... Oh, so you're the manager here? Everything else. Oh, shit. Slash everything else. I didn't else. know that. So you're the manager of Galleria? Galleria. General manager slash uh, shoe salesman. Are you really uh, I'm also a host. You're a host? And as a bus person, I do it all. Wow. Uh, Rita. Yes. Uh, it, is Pat serious? General manager? He is the bus boy. You're not the general manager. I just assumed their role. Oh, you assumed the role? On the oh, the shit. You just assigned that role to yourself? I just assigned that role oh, to myself. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but sweating. I'm sweating. You're sweating? Yes. I'm shitting myself. I'm also <laughs> shitting myself. He? He's, the, he's the bus man, and I fired him. And let me explain to you hold what on, he... Hold on, hold on. You fired him. I fired him. What did you fire him for? Because he told me that he was more important than me, and he got me on a bad day, and I got upset, what? and I fired him. Seriously? So you know what he did? He got an umbrella, because it was raining that day, and he yes. got an umbrella. Yes. And he would walk by and look in like a very sad puppy. I'm like, this poor guy. So I, I took him back. I took him back, and now I just let him tell himself oh. he's a manager. 
For everything that Pat does right, he does five things wrong. Go now, go. Oh Thank my you, God. He's so fucking crazy that it's like, is it really worth even having him here? He's, but it is, I love Pat. Pat's good. He don't feed him because he's gluten free, right? He's so full of shit, he eats well, look, all. He's like withering away. Well, he's got that great metabolism. I wish I had it, but he, we do feed him. Please don't think we don't feed the staff. No, I'm starving. <laughs> I, I, I... OK. OK. Enjoy. I mean, honestly, I haven't even tasted the food yet. Oh, my god. Wow. Why do you do it to me? Please, just out of my sight. Oh. Are homemade gnocchis? Excellent. And it's all homemade? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Frozen. What? Frozen. No, come on. But they're homemade, that's why. They're homemade and frozen. Grazie mille. You're very welcome. Thank you. Please, a, a little smile, a little smile, anything at all. Please eat it. Stop ripping it. He shook his head. Fuck my life. Oh, no, I did a... People's rubbery, bland and just pretty. It's solid. Almost like a golf ball. Not nice. Rita. Yes. Two seconds then. At least you can come as well. Start hiding behind the coffee machine. What are you drinking? No, 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 no. No, just ask. No, 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 no. So the meatballs are uh, like firm, solid, and just like dry, bland. But they're made here. Mm -hmm. Well, we make them and then we freeze them because. We don't want to run out of meatballs. Yeah, when they last up to two, three days in the fridge, and the difference in having them seared and cooked in the sauce rather than defrosted, the difference is night and day. OK. Uh, okay. yeah. Oh, my God. This is the beginning of the end. About 20 minutes ago, I was wondering what I, you know, what I got myself into. This is not good. I'm scared. I'm scared. Chef Ramsay beginning to question the food. People are rubbery, it's like a golf ball. Sisters Rita and Lisa are looking to Chef Doug for some answers. I'm not going so well. Get myself? Eat the meatballs. The meatballs are frozen. We yeah, make them fresh every three days. Well, yeah, we make them fresh every three days. You freeze them? They're not fresh, okay. they're frozen. They quiere mejor darle frozen a la gente y no darle cosas que está reinado. I don't know how many Italian restaurants he's been, but the restaurant that I know, they freeze stuff. What's in that cup? It's coffee, Rita. The veal paradiso. What's inside the veal? Prosciutto, mozzarella. Wow. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. Please, God, make them like that at least. Really bad. And just gnarly, overcooked, bland. <gasps> Gross. What the hell does that mean? It means he didn't like it, in a nutshell. How is it? That is definitely not paradise, let me tell you. Veal, way overcooked, very chewy, salty inside. <laughs> Sauce is a mess. What is it, tomato and vodka? Vodka. Right. Disgustingly bad. Well, well, well. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's just pray that he says it pray. goes. You're like the only prayer. I just want somebody to kill me at this point. What is he going to be eating next? Oh, yeah, seafood ravioli. That was the one thing I was hoping he wasn't going to get, like the one thing. They have the seafood ravioli. And when were they? Are these uh, fresh or? <laughs> oh, no. Frozen. Frozen. Do you think customers come to the North End to come and eat in a restaurant with frozen raviolis? Definitely not. I won't, myself. Who the fuck serves fresh ravioli? I mean, nobody serves fresh ravioli anywhere. Homemade ravioli in this neighborhood. These people don't even know how to make homemade ravioli. That's a god honest truth. I bet you if you go to the restaurant across the street and ask her, do you know how to make a homemade ravioli? She'll look at you and make you a matzo ball. She doesn't know. Wow. Disgusting. Just layers of gunk. So this is special. Actually, it's a special that we have 12 months a year. So it's a special of the year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, do I feel special. Thank you. Um, and in two years, has he ever changed it? Oh, shit. So it's a special think, every two yeah, years. Since we have that, we never will be changed. <laughs> 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 it's even worse. 
I want Sarah strangled. You know, she's having a good time because it's not her business on the line. But I got something for her. <laughs> a special every 700 days. I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to say. Oh, man. This is too much. This is too much. I want to go die in a corner somewhere. Wow. Chicken marsala? Yes, and it's fresh. And it's fresh. Excellent. This is the side Excellent. of the CT. Mm. Chicken marsala. Looks more like chicken and mushroom soup. <gasps> he's talking, he's whispering, it can't be good. If it's a whisper, it can't be good. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm hoping it tastes better than it looks. You know, live it up, girls. There's a Michelin chef in here ripping our food apart, and you guys are giggling away, and I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Shut up, he's chewing. Oh, shit. Salt, salt, he's salt and everything. Where is he? Way too sweet and just bland. No salt. Is Doug allergic to salt? I don't Ask him. think so. Uh. I don't think so. I didn't realize Chef Ramsay would be so unhappy. She's been kind of mean. No, I take it back. I said it was nice. And what's uh, dessert? We only have tiramisu, and we are even out of it. For real. <laughs> so you run out of dessert? Yes. Do we have tiramisu? No. Shots. One dessert, and you run out. Isn't that crazy? We're out of tiramisu. I didn't even know. I really didn't. Pat. Two seconds, bud. Quick. I need the manager. The restaurant Austria. Yeah? Can you run over there and get me one portion of tiramisu? I am fucking starving. One portion of tiramisu? Quick. Okay. Quick as you can. Where are you going? Get a piece of tiramisu. He's on his way. There he goes. Whose idea was this? Yours. No, this was your idea. Not my idea. Your fucking idea. Mama! Bring him a fork. He doesn't like anything. So he's not gonna like that either. Well, hello. Hi. How are you? Good nice to see you. This is my mama. Lena, nice to see you. Excellent. I can't wait to taste that. Uh, grazie mille. Right. Can I, can I just quickly say hello to Mum again? Sir, come on, Mum. God, you're going to get yelled at. I'm yes, so sir. scared. Oh, God. Mama. First, I need to do something. Oh, Bellissimo. Oh, huh? oh, delicious. I'm going to take it. Oh, my God. He likes Mum. Thank God. Thank he you likes so something. Much. I mean, amazing. Whose recipe is that? Your recipe? Really good. Really good indeed. We got a winner from Losteria. What the hell was that? What happened? God. With Chef Ramsay horrified by the food. What the hell? Lisa and Rita's day is not exactly heading in a positive direction. Oh, the fridge broke. <laughs> I don't even want to say what else could go wrong because God might answer me. And it's unlikely to get any better as Chef Ramsay meets head chef Doug. How are you? Good way. First name? Douglas. Douglas. Let's have a chat with the owners. Just stand next to your uh, wife. Ex. Uh, ex, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, first of all, how long have you been cooking? Mm, since 94. 94. And you're the head chef. If we can call it that. You're leading the kitchen. Let's get it that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah, OK. In when the they let me, anyway. Who's they? Who's they? Yeah, I, he certainly doesn't mean me, because I don't hold you back to do anything. Who in the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I'd really like to know. I know you're not looking at me. Some things that I want to do my way, you know, it's always like. In other words, he wants full yeah, control. I'm going to be in the kitchen, and I want a full control. But you do have, but full, you control. have full control. Nobody bothers you. Work. Listen, I want to go back to the food. This man is taking time out of his schedule to be here. I want to talk about frozen meatballs. OK. OK. Who's running the kitchen? I do. OK. 
Um, let's talk about lunch, yeah? The food was dated, bland, boring, and way below par in one of the most competitive streets anywhere in this country. When was the last time you went out for dinner in the neighborhood? I don't know. He doesn't eat Italian. I just go to Chinese food sometimes. Chinese food. <sighs> OK. What about the meatball? The meatball, we make it and then... Freeze them? Freeze them, yeah. And the veal paradiso, way overcooked, just drowned in sauce. Doug, customers cook better at home. The food was shocking. And just no seasoning, no care. Honestly, you're not giving your best. The homemade gnocchi. It's not homemade, right? Well, I know how to make it. I used to make it every day. Ravioli. I used to make those too, but you know there's a pain in the neck. I need somebody with extra time to help me. Doug, yeah. I would be willing to help you make pasta. I like to make pasta. Yeah, whatever. See, that's, that's, that's the that's attitude. It's very, he, he doesn't respond to much. What do you mean, doesn't respond? He just, you know. We're running a business. I know. Wow. And what is it between you two? Why is there such animosity there? He's just, that's just him. That's just him. Are you lazy? No, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is you've just gone through the motions. No, I'm not. You are. You're not making anything fresh. You have turned the restaurants into something dysfunctional, just for convenience. You knew I was coming today, right? Yeah, I knew. So why couldn't you cook for me from the heart? Because if I'm going to treat you special, then I got to treat everybody special. So you feel better serving me frozen shit than you cooking your best? I, I just being honest. Let me ask you this. How can a seafood ravioli be special if it's frozen and it's been on the menu as a special for two years? Well, we get it frozen. What's so fucking special about that? You've only got one dessert on, and even that ran out a week ago. We do have it. Where is it, then? Um, no. We don't. We don't? don't. Well, you don't know? Do you guys communicate? I mean, help me. No, I know, I know. But there's really not much that I mean, you can't even get through to him, so how am I supposed to? You're the owner. I know. You think this restaurant has a future serving frozen meatballs? Not only was my lunch bland, disappointing, but whatever little customers you've got now, I'm amazed they're in here. Tonight, I want to see this place function. I want to see how you operate, what you do. I want to see how you run the line. OK. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Thank you. You're fucking dead. Oh, my god. He's left the building. That was really, really hard. Stop looking at me, Pat, because this is your fault. It would have been easier to have been hung by the roof by my toenails. Oh, God. Well, guys don't have any respect. You could make some pasta. No, I can't. And get rid of those seafood ravioli. I want them out of here. OK. I hate you. This is your idea. No, this was definitely no. your idea. No, this was definitely your idea. It wasn't idea. your idea. Yeah. No, it wasn't. I'm going to go smoke. Listen, tonight, if anybody does anything crazy, you are fired. Rita, tell him to chill out, because I'm leaving tonight if you fucks with me. I'm really leaving. Ramsey. I'm not calling him chef. I'm calling him Ramsey, and that's what I'm calling him. Mr. Ramsey, at least. Call him Mr. Ramsey. Listen, respect he deserves. He's coming! Fuck my life. He's already shit on the food. Like, I'm waiting for him to see us run the front of the house and yell at us about that. Doug, uh, tiramisu on? No. Can't be bothered? Nope. No, can't be bothered. Wow. Anyway, uh, so take me through the uh, line. Who's running what station? But we usually don't work in stations. You don't work on stations either. Holy shit, it's getting worse. Oh, my god. Every Saturday night, Boston's North End is packed. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, honey? And as a result, it's the one night that La Galleria 33 is filled with customers. My name is Sarah, and I'm going to be your server for tonight. Um, I'm going to be sausage catch toy. Give me Bill Francesca. Bill Francesca, sure. Oh, my god, my nerves. Sir, whenever it's ready, we can take table one. Duck, who, uh, who talks to who? Who communicates there? Anybody? Duck, 
Who well, communicates here? Um, I don't. No. I will. I do, but I can't hear anything. Who, yeah. Who's who's? Uh... When things are ready, we just put them over there. And... Oh, so there's no, there's no, there's no timing. When that's ready, we. I said this. Yes, sure. That's ready. Chicken Alfredo, Chicken Galleria. Yeah, coming. You just, you just dropped that on the floor. Look at me. You just dropped it on the floor. Yeah. You can't cook it. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. You just dropped it on the floor. I know. Uh, Rita, Lisa, uh, both of you, just two seconds. Sorry, this is sending me crazy. Hello, what? He just dropped the chicken on the floor and put it back in the pan. Wait a minute. This one here. Come on, guys. Serious stuff? Wait a minute. He dropped it on the floor and cooked it? What, what do you mean? Am I on my own here or what? No, you're not. That's crazy. Could you start that again or not? What? Can you start that again? It's not here. It's there. I say this is not. That's the one that dropped on the floor. It's OK. It's good enough to eat it. I'm not here to make you look stupid. But wait, I stop a chef from serving fucking chicken and dropping the floor. I mean, honestly, you guys look like a bunch of fucking idiots. This is fucking crazy. It's only minutes into a busy Saturday night dinner service, and Chef Ramsay has already observed just how low the standards are at Galleria 33. He just dropped the chicken on the floor and put it back in the pan. Honestly, you guys look like a bunch of fucking idiots. Wait a minute. This one here. Why would you cook a fucking piece of chicken that you dropped on the floor? Like, you know, it makes me question his... Not his intelligence, but I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, his intelligence. Fucking hell. Normally, you would never cook something that fell on the floor. Why would you have done that? He's gonna think you're crazy. Throw it out. Yeah, throw it out. I don't think he's serving that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what he does. It's disgusting, but... What are you wiping his ass? I'm not, but I don't want to be betrayed as a restaurant who serves chicken that's been I tried before. to stop him from doing it. I don't know. He's nuts. It fell on the floor. That's, he's nuts. He picked know. it up and dusted it. Yeah, I get it, but he's not going to serve it. I'm not it. looking for this stuff. I walked right into it. I'm standing by side watching the line work. But he started a new one, as you can see. Oh, fuck me. I would like to know when Douglas has ever picked something off the floor. Like, never. Ever, ever, ever. Like, why would he have done that? Like, did he purposely do that? Fuck. While Doug continues to work in silence, food still manages to get out to the diners. Chicken parm, chicken parm. And the ravioli was for you. It looks disgusting. But the customers are anything but reserved when expressing how they feel about his dishes. How's the appetizer for you? Awful. It's really not very good. It's not fresh. I can try to send one of the owners over this way if you would like. Yes, please. Absolutely. Lisa, they wanted to speak to someone. Who? Uh, the four top over there, the okay. one that's... I don't want to hear a complaint. Okay. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Send Rita. I don't like dealing with angry, irate people. I usually just... For them to read it. Uh, the four top over there, they'd like to speak to one of the owners. Oh, yeah, send Lisa. I'm I tried, busy, she said no. But I'm not going anywhere. Lisa should deal with complaints because I don't handle that well. I would rather just not deal. The owners may have decided not to deal with disgruntled customers. It's all burnt. But that doesn't stop the complaints from coming. How is it? Going? Yeah, not really good. Really? Very charcoaly. People are complaining about the food. Lisa or Rita will not talk to the customers. And they get so pissed about it. But it's very usual for me. It's not like this is the first time I see it. This is supposed to be oh, medium no. rare. It's well done. Oh, no, 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 no. Looks like a bonfire. Rita, when you see a bone that is thicker than the actual eye of the meat, it's like a dog chew. My food is good. I still think it's good. How are you going to get it to be medium rare? That's the question. I mean... Why is it such a defense mechanism? Well, because even the customers complaining. When they're right, I'll take it. What I can't take is the garbage. Wow. How's everything here? This is cold. It's cold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Come over. Eggplant ravioli. 
It was a little cold. He was complaining about this. Cold? No, this one's actually hot in the middle. What's wrong? They said it's cold in the middle. I stuck my finger in it. It's hot in the middle. It's, 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 it's not warm. It's still hot. He tells me it's not, but it is. That's cold. No, it's That's not. The way I am, like, I, I'm going to go over there and tell the lady, like, stick your finger in the ravioli and tell me it's cold now. I'm, like, ready to stab somebody. Whose ravioli was this? It's a table of five, the four top. Hi, who had these ravioli? I'm so sorry. Hello. Were these yours? All of these ravioli? They weren't cold, so I was just wondering... I don't know what the one is. that I bit into was cold. Oh, no, no, this is definitely your plate. I took yes. it right from the waiter. Yeah, I know it's And I plate. stuck my finger. The one that she handed to me to eat was cold. They're all hot, so I'm just curious they what it was. By that time, they, they weren't was, hot to know. us. So they were cold when they got here, and they got hot when they came back. Just, I'm just curious. I'm trying to understand why. Uh, you seem like you're okay. kind of not happy with me. It's not that I'm not happy. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, and, I, and they're all hot, so I'm just wondering. Oh, my God. Rida, to me, I was very, very unprofessional. The customers is always right, so when he complains, I want to give the best to them. Uh, my apologies. You've got every right to complain. I think somebody's forgotten the customers are king, right? Yeah. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you. This is right. fucking ridiculous. All right, well, let's see how many more complaints we can go on. I think you're overreacting. I mean, as owners, uh, can anything bounce off you and get on with it? Or I'm, I'm still gonna... here, so I'm clearly, uh, barely, my skin is thicker than barely, that. Barely, barely, barely. I feel like I'm in like a sea of devils. I feel like he brought this upon us. I thought you were going to come in here and help us tonight. Everybody's complaining. What do you want me to do? I mean, you're asking me to stop the complaints? You sound like a petulant teenager. How so? I think he's just on the defense. We love the food here, and we think it's good. I'm going to disagree, because the food's not good. I don't think my food is bad. Am I in denial? I don't think I am, but I keep saying that my food is good, so that's like a sign of somebody being in denial. Ladies, welcome. Hello. How's that, my darling? You're very fishy, especially the muscles. Yeah, it's not very fresh. No. Let me just check. What has happened to the chef? He's in the kitchen. Do you want to see what he's doing? Wow, it gets worse. They're all open. Dead, dirty muscles. Douglas, Rita. I'm sorry, what's the same? They're all, they're all open. They're all open. And they're not clean, they're dead. Lisa, muscles are dirty. More importantly, they're all open. What does an open muscle mean? It's dead. It's dead, yeah. But why are they in here, then? We don't use the ones that are open when we don't use them. So where are the dead ones going? In the trash? Garbage. Yeah, I know they're going, but when? Chef Ramsay's really negative and critical, and it's pissing me off. I want him to get the fuck out. Let me tell you something. Get rid of the dead muscles before we kill somebody. Oh, my God. It's two hours into dinner service, and Chef Ramsay has now confirmed the main problem here at La Galleria 33. Owners Rita and Lisa are in denial. We love the food here, and we think it's good. The food's not good. And to make matters worse, head chef Doug's practices in the kitchen are completely careless. Dead, dirty muscles will fucking kill somebody. So Chef Ramsay wants to take a closer look at what is lurking below at La Galleria 33. Rotten, gooey as shit. When the fresh onions come in, you think they get rid of the old ones. So he's downstairs? Is he playing around with that I have no idea. Rotten. I want to show them more rotten shit. I want to show you something quickly. You always know a chef inside out when you look at his fridge. OK. What's happened over here over the last three months is they've been using onions, peeling them in here and leaving all the bits of shit in there. 90% of them, soft as shit. Oh, pure. Oh, yeah. Hello. Have you any idea how long it takes for an onion to go that rotten? No. About two months. I said to you earlier, I sense that there's a lazy stream running through this restaurant. I'm questioning Doug. I feel like I've trusted too much that he would do the right thing without watching. Oh, Jesus. Wow. So this one's just packed with frozen pasta. What the fuck are they? Those are porcini ravioli. Oh, my God. Porcini, wow. A frozen ravioli is not horrendous. It's not. Like, I've, I've eaten frozen raviolis. It's not. 
It's not that bad. What are those? Those are cannelloni. Cannelloni? Yes. You are kidding me. And who puts them together? Douglas. And when's it from? I don't know. Cannelloni, flat as a crate. Is this what your father was teaching him? No. Oh, my God. What are they? The frozen meatballs that you Oh, they're the frozen meatballs? Yeah, with the frosting. Wow. I don't think you two should be running a restaurant. Why? Because I don't think you give a fuck. No, we do. We totally I swear do. No, no, we no, do. I, I, honestly, if you're cooking at home tomorrow for your family, I can guarantee you'll be cooking better food at home than you'll be serving your restaurant. And what's shocked me so far since I've been here, no one has any pride in what they're doing, what they're saying, and you should not be running a business. He's trying to point out all our flaws, and he's being ultra-critical about everything. We're dead. Don't call me tomorrow. I'm not coming in. I'm sick of hearing it. Get out of here. Oh, no. I gotta get the fuck out of here. You can't do that. Rita, we'll be all alone. No, I can't. I've had enough. Just over the whole thing. I just want to run away. I'm out. I can't do this. This is humiliating. All right, I'll have him just do the yelling to me. No, it's not that, Rita. Douglas is dropping chicken on the floor. People complain. It's a bunch of bullshit. I, I didn't sign up for this. I'm not doing this. I'm just not fucking doing it. It's ridiculous. He's a douchebag. He doesn't want to help us. I don't think he should call Chef Ramsay a douchebag. He doesn't care. His eyes are on us. His eyes are on us? Yes. His eyes are on us. I don't know what you're talking about. Rita's riding this wave of like, yeah, Chef Ramsay's right. I mean, I'm happy that she thinks this was all worth it. I'm out of here. I'll do it by myself. Where's Lisa? She left. She's leaving. Lisa, you go, I'm going. I didn't I'm going. sign I'm up for this. Well, I, I don't give a Mr. fuck where you sign. Let, let, let me tell you something. I sign up you walk this. out, I'm out. Straight up. OK. I've had enough. I want him to get the fuck out of here. I want him to leave. He's in my space. None of you give a shit here. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I care. I you care. care? Yeah, I do. What, by wiping the ass of the chef like that, he dropped a chicken on the listen, floor. Listen. He picked it back yep, up and I started cooking that. it. I get that. But you're just no, making we're excuses not for it. That. No, I don't give a fuck. If about I didn't him. see I don't even it, like him. if I didn't see it, would fucking serve it? No, he would not have. Are you deluded? No, I'm not deluded. How do you know he would have served it? I know he would. So why was he cooking it then? What the fuck do I know? He's nuts. Then you tie that up. I'm going as well. You go. I go. Okay. Previously on Kitchen Nightmares. Oh, my head's spinning. La Galleria 33 was the dream of sisters Rita. Oh, my God. And Lisa. She certainly doesn't mean me. The daughters of Italian immigrants. They may have grown up in the restaurant business. Your mom and dad have a restaurant in up. Boston? Yes. yes. Five doors down. Correct. Right across the street diagonally. But right from the very beginning, this Italian eatery was a financial disaster. We lose money every single month. We're not getting money. Rita and Lisa claimed they had no idea why. I don't know how to fix it because I don't know what's wrong with it. But it didn't take Chef Ramsay long to discover you have turned the restaurants into something dysfunctional. That this restaurant was fraught with a number of issues. Whatever little customers you've got now, I'm amazed they're in here. The owners treated the restaurant like their own personal hangout. Where are they all going? Rita, constantly smoking. And Lisa, drinking on the job. Are you drunk? Also, they had lost the respect of their staff. They have no responsibility. They have no concern. As for the food, well, it was pretty horrific. Really bad. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. Frozen, bland, and made without passion. What the fuck are they? Oh, my god. By head chef Doug, who happens to be Rita's ex-husband. I don't think you two should be running a restaurant. At dinner service, there were a number of customer complaints. It's really not very good. It's not fresh. And Rita decided to challenge the customers. Uh, stick your finger in the ravioli and tell me it's cold now. You seem like you're oh. kind of not happy with me. Instead of trying to please them. Oh, my God. And then the unbelievable happened. Chef Doug, in full view of Chef Ramsay, did the unthinkable. You just dropped it on the floor. No. You can't cook it. Chef Ramsay confronted the owners. No one has any pride. And while Rita listened unhappily, he's going to think you're crazy. Lisa remained in denial. He's a douchebag. He doesn't want to help us. I've had enough. I can't do this. I'm out of here. Leaving Gordon no choice but to give her a firm ultimatum. You walk out, I'm out. What is that? You're serving rotten food. 
We could possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! Thank you, Chef. And now, the dramatic conclusion of La Galleria 33. You go, I go. Let me tell you. I I'm didn't going, sign I'm up for this. Well, I, I didn't give a fuck what you signed. Let, let, let me tell you something. I didn't sign up You for walk this. out, I'm out. Straight up. OK. I've had enough. I mean, I'll stay here today, but I'm not no, going I, I don't. Tomorrow. You're not come back tomorrow, I'm out of here. Much, you know, I mean, get your sister out here, I'm going to tell her now straight. And do you know what's too much? Is none of you give a shit here. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I care. You I care. care? Yeah, I do. What, by wiping the ass of the chef like that, he dropped a chicken on listen, the floor. Listen. He picked it back yeah, up and I started cooking that. it. I get that. But you just making excuses for it. That. No, I don't give a fuck if about I him. Like him. If I didn't Look. see it, if I didn't see it, would have been fucking serving okay. it. No, he would not have. Are you deluded? No, I'm not deluded. How do you know he wouldn't have served it? Well, I know he wouldn't. So why was he cooking it then? What the fuck do I know? He's nuts. He's nuts. There's like a lot of people out here. Can we like talk yeah. somewhere else? Let's go inside. This <laughs> is ridiculous. In here. I really want to go home. I need a cooler. Like, I, I okay. can't do this. No, no. You go, I'm going. I'm out of it. I'm not going to stay here and pick up the pieces for your business for someone that doesn't give a shit. Let me tell you. I do give a shit, but. So if you give a shit, then you'd stay and actually show some willing. I came to help. Okay, I'm just going to have a glass of wine. Ugh, it's driving me to drink. Unbelievable. What, what's happening here? She's trying. She's not trying. She's making excuses. Let me tell you something. Just I, in I, private. I, no, but just, just in private for two minutes. She's going to get slapped tonight. I'm not here to fight you. I can see the pain. I can feel it. But this is beyond out of control. I don't know what to say. I honestly, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I know, I know. If you know it, you must be. Don't get upset. I'm sorry. This just sucks. It's humiliating. I know it is, darling. I, I, I can see that. I'm embarrassed. This is embarrassing. This was your idea. No, it wasn't. Don't blame me for this shit. It's not embarrassing. This, this is embarrassing. I'm bringing it to your attention urgently. I want you to be successful. I want to be successful. Above. I do. Above. I do. I want that. You have to strive for excellence. I That's want the bottom excellence. line. Average restaurants fail. Listen, Lisa, we have to fix this. Can you just leave me alone? Unreal. As dinner service winds down at the Galleria 33... What he's saying is true. Sisters Rita and Lisa have just had a rude awakening from Chef Ramsay. Oh, my God. We have to fix this. Can you just leave me alone? But Lisa still needs a little convincing. What he's saying is true. And, and we... No, I don't think our food sucks. I believe some of the things... I think some of them could suck. ...could be better. Could be way better. Frozen lasagna, there's got to be a better way. Yeah. And a frozen meatball, like, he's Ridiculous, right. Yeah. He's right. I feel angry and embarrassed, and I'm, I just don't want to deal with it. I'm struggling to see your hunger, your I, passion. I, it's there. It's there. I'm just, I'm upset. Why are you upset? It's just, like, so up here that we don't know what to do anymore. Look, it's just, they don't respond to me. That's they don't respond to me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We've got to straighten that out. That's one big, you're the owners. Yeah, we're what the you owners. say goes. I see two girls in front of me that want this business to work, but you've got to stop tiptoeing over the issues. You can't just say, I give up. I'm sorry. I, mean, I haven't given up entirely. Good. I'm glad to hear. OK? Good job. Thank you. <sighs> the final orders are now leaving the kitchen. Tell me you didn't put the rack of lamb back on the grill. Where is it? Excuse me? It, where's it's the... almost ready. No, no, it's ready. Please, it's already medium rare. But just like everything else this evening, it too is painful for owners Rita and Lisa. You're going to overcook it. And not surprisingly... It's not working. I'll tell you that. No, I will not come back here. Many of the customers leave unhappy. Thank you for your patience. Good night. I'm oh, sorry. Tough day. Let me tell you, I've seen it so many times before. 
we can fix it. It's not too late. I'm here to help. I know. And at times you think I'm not. I'm here no, to help. No, I know you are. I know. But I'm are. not going to put a band aid on it. A band aid is not going to keep this business no. open. No, it won't. No. I want you to make a list of things that bother you the most that you want to change. Okay. All those things that you feel that you've been ignored, you've had the sort of crap kicked out of you. Okay. Get some rest. All right. And we start again tomorrow. New day. Good night. <sighs> Chef Ramsay knows there is a complete disconnect between the owners and the staff. Peter, should we be doing something so he doesn't come in and start saying? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, everybody. And so he has asked the sisters to share their list of issues with the staff. Today, it's all about moving forward and changing. So, we're going to host a staff meeting. Uh, Lisa and Rita, I would like you to address the staff. It's open forum. First one. The first one is, um, I would like for the staff to stop treating La Galleria as if it were a competition to see who could do less. What? Everyone comes in, sits, eats, laughs, talks. Nobody checks if the tables have been set properly. Nobody ever does this to the chair to see if there's breadcrumbs from the night before to wipe them off. So why would you come into work to sit down before work? And tell me you're tired. Don't forget that. I disagree, totally disagree. Number one, we sit after everything is done. We stop Sarah, after that's not everything true. is not true at all. I personally, I'm sitting when there is no customer in here. There's never customers in here till 7 o'clock. Does that okay. give you the right yeah. to sit yeah. online? Okay. That's not true. Okay. Okay. Sorry, that's not true. You guys are all in denial. You guys need to own what you do. Rosa, how many days do you come in late? Say, every day? I guess. Maybe five times you came in on time? You're a real sloth. Joe. When I ask you to do something, like wash a window, you know the reason? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Miguel, you scratch your balls in the dining room. But doesn't make me a bad way to scratch my balls. Come on. It's inappropriate. Listen, don't pick on me. I'm picking on everybody. You hate some people when they didn't do nothing. Don't give me the bullshit. If you guys cared the way everybody thinks they care, we would be really successful and he wouldn't be standing here. Like, Nobody gives a shit. Is that true? I guess we're lazy at all. Why are you lazy? Because what I saw, everybody not doing this, cleaning this and that. I sit with them, I enjoy the party, and says, I don't care because nobody does. Wow. And honestly, I guess the culture of, of what I've seen has made me lazy as well. I'm not doing anything differently than the rest of these people. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I disagree. I'm not lazy. I'm sorry. Can I interject, please? Yeah. Please. This is what I see when I walk in. You are sitting there, Sarah, chit-chatting, drinking coffee, and looking miserable. No, that's not true, Lisa. And just waiting for the bus people to come and pick up the dirty tables. I disagree, too. You need to clean as well. You guys never, ever asked us, can you please just finish the work with the bus boy? Because for I me, since day one, that shouldn't that. have to be asked. Have there to should ask no, that, you guys don't like that. You have to tell us. Sarah, Sarah. No, sorry, sorry, yes, Lisa. No, no. Lisa, wait a minute, wait a minute, sorry. let's talk okay. real. Yeah, no, we're oh, talking I, real. Okay. Listen to right. me, okay. listen to me. I'm, yeah. I only mentioned that because well, that's something. Whose fault is that after all? Yours? No, it's yours. You expect everything to be done. This business, number one, is not under my name. It's under both of your names. That's why you need to listen. Listen to what I say. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying there are no rules, Rita. So don't blame us for that because there are no rules. There are no rules because nobody respects what I say. Like what? Let me just go down my list and you'll see where I'm going with this. Number two says. Point number two. Nobody sitting here can take criticism. Actually, Rosa can. She does like 5,000 things wrong a night. But when you tell her, she says she's sorry, but doesn't really do anything about it. Doug, why can't you take criticism? I do. You don't. You definitely don't. You don't. You don't take the criticism. the way I see I do. So you think different. How about seeing it the way the owners see it? Doug, when I say this dish sucks, you need to own it. What can I do if I don't agree? I don't care. You make another one. That's your job. You cook as if you don't want to be here. Watching the way you perform, it's a man that's just turning up for the check. 
I've oh. been working here for, no for the check. Then why don't you say to me and Lisa, you know what, I want to make a special today. I did it, I did it there for Sealy, the other stuff just don't sell. It don't sell because they suck. Those are not specials. The vibe in here is oozing negativity beyond belief. No one gives a shit. From the chefs to the waiters, no one gives a fuck. I'm sorry, I disagree. Wow. Don't take this like a personal attack. I'm just saying, point people out. Just I'm don't not, say You're everyone. taking everything okay, personal. OK, just one more thing. I don't want to be the target whenever, guys, you mention something. I know you're a good waitress, you're efficient, you're fast. But I've had servers actually tell me they don't want to work with you. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed, it's to, supposed mean to mean that you are a money grub. And you hog all the tables. I see the people, you guys the ones who see the people. When I tried to rotate them, did you not, were you not the first one to complain? Be honest, let's but just, let's be honest. But you are the boss, you want to rotate, why don't you uh, just rotate no, actually, without asking? No, just I'm do sorry. it. Because she's not willing to make less money. Shall I give an example? When I hired you, you were told you need to pay him 20% of your tips. I tipped 20 per, more than 20%. This no. bus boy has never seen 15% from you. And that's he has it. seen it. No, he's no. not. No, ask sorry, him. Ask sorry. Him. That's ask not him. true. Ask Pat, him. There he is. Have what? you seen more than 15% from Sarah? Yes or no? No. I'm not gonna tip up. I'm not gonna tip up. Sarah, Sarah, hold on, Sarah. Sarah. Listen to me. Hold on. Sarah, listen to me. Nobody's whatever. talking about when you make 15% of the charges. You know what I'm talking about? When you made $400 and you gave him 40. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. You absolutely did. No, I didn't. When someone's breaking their balls like this and they leave with $40, they got fucked right up the ass. Yes, they did. I was working my ass that day. So was he. If I'm here, I need to make some money. This is my job. You make me pick and choose, Sarah, and I... No, Lisa. Yes. Lisa. Sarah comes in, gets the best station. Sarah gets sat first, gets sat last. Sarah's making all the money. It has to stop. Like, it's ridiculous. Sorry, I'm going home. Thank God. This is a waste for you. Next time for you to fucking hit the road. Sarah comes in, gets the best station. Sarah gets sat first, gets sat last. Sarah's making all the money. It has to stop. Chef Ramsay has forced Lisa and Rita to finally confront their staff. I'm sorry, I'm going home. Thank God. And server Sarah doesn't exactly like what they have to say. This is a waste of time. Praise the Lord. What do we do about Sarah? The problem with Sarah is that you've left yourselves open because of the lack of direction that's been shown to the team. And the fact that she's a good waitress, she's got you over a barrel. She's got the reins. Yeah. You've got to take control. How? You can't be beholden to one member of staff, one chef in the kitchen. The staff are dictating for convenience. And that is so wrong. I'm to blame for that, that this is my fault. No, I'm not single-handedly. We both you are. Blame. You're absolutely right. You I both am. are. I am. How can you expect them to right. take can example? Can example? Because right. it, it, it starts from the top. Correct. And a yep. fish rots from the head downwards. As owners, you set the rules. And anyone that doesn't coincide with your rules, yeah. they're out. I feel like this has really set a fire in me. No more drinking for me, no more smoking for you. All right. I want to lead by example and really start working to make this place better. You set the rules, you raise the bar, and you all follow it. OK. OK. I want control back. I'm taking it today. I'm taking control back today. There's only one voice, and that's the voice of the owners. So what they say gets done, period. I, I, I realized I was wrong, and I'm wrong. I'll do my best to not be lazy anymore, because it's wrong. And I want to improve myself on these little things that I wasn't good. doing good. I want to do much better. Time to change. Yes. Got it? Yes. Absolutely. OK, um, I appreciate the meeting. Right. Yeah, well done. Good Thank points. Thank you. Thanks. I love this. Well, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. That was fucking great. <laughs> I love him. I love him. I hope he stays. God, please make him stay for life. Are you fucking out of your mind? Here Who's he comes. up? <gasps> the chef. Chef is back. Hello. OK, then. I have a surprise for you. A surprise for me? Yes. Really? That's very yeah. kind. 
You want to see it? Uh, where is it? Oh, right here. <laughs> okay. It's, you're gonna. <laughs> no, don't no, scare no, me. No, you're making me nervous. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that you like it. I I figured you got so upset about that tiramisu and nobody cared enough to make it for you. You made a tiramisu. So I did. I made you wow. a tiramisu this morning. Did you make it with Doug? No. No. I made it myself. How long did it take you? Uh, less than an hour. Less than an hour, Doug. It is fresh. I hope you uh, like well, it. the fact that we got it, look at that. Um, nice. Are you made this this morning, seriously? Yes, seriously. Yeah? I'm impressed. Mmm. Mm. It's nice. It is? Really? I like it, yeah. It's very nice. Mmm. He likes the tiramisu. A winner. Uh, that's delicious. Good job. Uh, right, I need all of you. I've just okay. been. Uh... Uh, guys, come over, please. All of you, please. Let's go. God, no one moves fast now, do they? It's like fucking camels getting off the <laughs> desert. Let's go. Now, I've done a lot of research around the city of Boston. And this is a highly competitive area, right? Yes. How do you stand out from that competition? We don't. I don't know. That's obvious. We are like almost like everybody. No bad and no worse. I think we are good. That's where you're wrong, young man. Last night, throughout service, I snapped off a few photos just to show you what your food looks like. Wow. What is that? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it? No, That's I not do. a good sign. I do, I do. I'm scared. These are from my phone. Oh, my God. Uh, Doug, what is that? Raviolis. It could be eggplant. No, it's seafood ravioli. Ravioli. Actually, it's eggplant ravioli. It's eggplant. The fact that you don't even know what it is instantly scares the shit out of me. Crazy. <laughs> seafood ravioli. Let's put it up there. Yeah? Do you have to hang them? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, it's a gallery, isn't it? Next. What is it? Oh, God. Paradiso? God, paradiso. Does that look like paradise to anyone? It looks like vomit. Vomit. Such a pie hole. You're not the manager anymore. Or <laughs> well, the inside of a colostomy bag. <laughs> what is this? Antipasto. With balsamic vinegar spewed all over it. Do you think they do that in Italy? No. It's, it's only supposed Christmas. to be on the tomato mozzarella. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Well, then someone needs to get to fucking Lens Crafter urgently. Next. Oh, please, no more. <laughs> oh, the rack of lamb. <laughs> The rack of lamb. Our rack of lamb looks like a sick animal. I mean, I don't know a lot of sick animals, but like a sick, a sick animal. That is currently leaving your dining room on a daily basis. That's like an abstract. Oh, that looks like shit. Everything we serve is this weird orange, pinky colored. It doesn't look like food. It's, it wasn't appetizing at all. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. That's your food, Doug. There, yes? Into the chef tub. Yeah, yep. <sighs> Let me show you some other photos of what Boston's best Italian restaurants are putting out. Tortellini of seafood. Mm. Oh, that's just beautiful. It's nice. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. Shrimp and linguine. It's like a piece of art. That does look nice. good. Lamb. Served in a local Italian restaurant. Looks nice. A little antipasta. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's nice. For sure. Look at the comparisons. It's just a better version, visually yeah, guess, yeah. and taste wise. Can you stop talking in my ear? What's wrong? I don't know what he's saying. And I'll tell you what he's saying. saying. That's ridiculous. Go on. The food looks better because. Those were taken as close-ups, and these were far away. <laughs> OK, uh, no. No. If I had to pull out that one and show you this one with the bits of crap... Listen. Your food is dated. And there is no comparison. No, there isn't. It doesn't look good. Have a little bit of pride. Doug, are you willing to learn and raise your game? I don't like to follow like people. I, you know, I like to do things different my way. A world-renowned chef is in here. 
telling you like you're fucking up and you have no passion and he's still resisting. I gotta look for somebody else. Chef Ramsay has made it clear to the staff the strength of the competition in Boston. The message here is that we want to deliver something better. But the real question is, has the message gotten through to the stubborn head chef? Doug, are you willing to learn and raise your game? Yeah. Think that we can make it look better. We have to make it look better. Yep, <laughs> yes. I know that the food he shows it looks better. And I want to be like that. I want to know more. So I'm open to any ideas. I am not interested in going backwards. That's not up for compromise. Raise the bar. I'm hopeful for Douglas. I'm hoping he can embrace change. Like, it has to work. It has to work. With more than 80 Italian restaurants in the North End alone, Woo. Chef Ramsay knows that La Galleria 33 needs to not only have a major upgrade in its food, just have a little gather over there, but it needs something extra to help it stand out from the competition. Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Here's the thing: as a new added feature to La Galleria 33's menu, we'll be offering small plates of classic Italian cuisine, something different, something that nobody is doing. It gives you that diversity, giving your customers the option to enjoy many flavors. That is a great idea. It's beautiful. <gasps> Starting off with homemade meatballs. Beautiful. Roasted chicken livers, blended with butter. Nice. Uh, and then truffle and lemon asparagus risotto. Oh, my god. And gavatelli done with beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. It's awesome. Small plates are great because despite my size, I actually eat very small portions, so now I can have, like, several different things. Dig in. Wow. Mm. Very good. Mm. Oh, very yeah. good. Very good. Yeah. Mm. The manager approves. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't imagine I'd be this pleased. I'm really, really very happy. It's good stuff. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry. Scram. <laughs> it's like night and day. You can't compare the new dishes to the old dishes. Did you taste that? It's amazing, isn't it? It's like comparing, you know, an apple to a banana. Both fruit, but not the same thing. Doug, don't look so nervous. You actually can make that. Absolutely. You can do it. Do it or be killed. <laughs> you know, that's his response to everything. Doug, what I need is your attitude to change, that you want to learn. I do. Last time you said that, you got divorced. <laughs> very wow. funny. Because <laughs> you need to be trained. It's a very good point. That's why I'm asking, because I'm smart. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what you need is a chef in here that can help you. Are you staying? No, but I have found a very talented individual that is going to be with you to help execute these amazing dishes. Here he is. Get him in here. Michael, Success. come on in. Young man, Hi. welcome. Hey. Hi. Hi, Michael. Michael Serva. He's trained in some of the best Italian restaurants in the country. He's going to be here for the next month, training, working closely on a day-to-day -day basis with Doug. Oh, nice. I'm taking care of the check in order that he spends that time in here and implements that standard. I don't care if I'm here day and night. I just want to <laughs> learn. Good. That's the attitude I want to hear. Excited for the challenge? Yes, definitely. Yeah? Good. I'm so excited that we have a new chef. I just hope we don't scare him off, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> we're really, we're, we're very dysfunctional. I expect us not just to be another restaurant, but I expect us to be the restaurant in the North End. I'm very excited. <laughs> We're very I'm excited, excited to run this restaurant with a different spirit. I don't think we're a horror show anymore. I think it's a new beginning. It's like new dawn. We're, we're going to be fine. We're going to be good. It's going to be good. I might still be a horror show. I, I don't know. I'm going to Gordon Ramsay's house. I'll be his nanny. I'll watch his kids. No, I don't really like kids, but I will definitely clean his house. I'll be his dog walker. I'll snuggle up on the bottom of his bed and keep his feet warm. With everyone committed to change, Put a little sauce on the bottom just to caramelize it. A yeah. little bit on top, too. Gives it that nice color. Chef Mike goes right to work, teaching Doug how to execute the new menu. Looks great. And later that night, Chef Ramsay and his team turned their attention to transforming the decor of La Galleria 33. Good morning. Good morning. 
Ladies, good morning. good morning. The next morning, Sarah returned to La Galleria 33 with a new attitude. Today is a absolutely humongous day. And owners Lisa and Rita are happy to have her back, at least for now. Today is where we put La Galleria 33 on the map. We cement the future of this restaurant. I'm excited. I excited? just want to get in there. <laughs> right, guys, you ready to see your new restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. You're going to love it. Oh, welcome. my welcome, God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it is beautiful. It really is beautiful. Right. This is so oh, nice. Clean. Oh, my God. Welcome to your new restaurant. I love it. No more dark red walls. It's very chic, fresh, modern, and clean. That oozes that romantic feel. Wow. Gone are those hideous plastic oh. clouds yeah. on the wall. We have a new contemporary look. Oh. Quite sexy. That's awesome. Very excited to see those shits on the wall gone. Those were awful. It's so nice to see exposed brick. It looks great. Modern lighting in order to sort of lift. Our oh lighting my God. sucked. We love the it. And then, of course, the blackboard, this amazing this North End so map, <laughs> highlighting two of the most important restaurants. La Galleria 33, right next to Mum and Dad. Look at this, I didn't see the cool the bread cutting board. board. That's right. <laughs> so so cool. when you come in, we have this huge chopping board with La Galleria 33 that really stamped is on great. there. I love that cutting board. I, I'm going to hit somebody with it. Probably Sarah and Miguel and Doug and Lisa. It's really I mean, lovely. Yes. Yeah. I think it looks amazing. I, I think you have a very contemporary, modern, chic Italian dining it's room. It's beautiful. I love it. I feel like we have our own identity as a restaurant now. I feel like it's us. I'm excited to work here and be here, and it's beautiful. This is the way it should have been done. So now, instead of sitting down for 10 hours, we're going to keep it clean. It's the biggest night in the history of La Galleria 33. Guys, some words of encouragement before the very busy evening begins. And Rita and Lisa want to make sure that everyone is focused on the job at hand. All right, this is our big relaunch. Time for us to work as a team. Please don't spill anything on the customers. No ball scratching. Rosa, smile. Sarah, do not argue tonight. Don't oh, mention God. it to me, though. We're not going to yeah, argue. Yeah, no. Just do your best. Everything will be fine. Who's the boss in here? Rita and Lisa. Mm -hmm. Run this dining room with conviction. What's the special tonight? The, the brands, you know? Sell that, yeah? Describe the porchetta. The porchetta. What's it served with? Uh, no, no, you should know. Describe the porchetta. Porchetta is a roasted pork. See, si, served on. Served on. Oh, God. Yeah, no, yeah. OK. Describe the ozabuco. So, buco is a uh, lamb shank. Lamb shank? You tasted it. I know, it. but I don't remember all the Really? Things. Yes. Veal, you muppet. Can I suggest? Just for five minutes, you take the menus yeah. and you talk yeah. to the chefs and you start logging that in there. What's all that about? Lamb. Lamb. What? I need some vodka. While the staff brushes up quickly on the menus, Risotto. the doors open for the relaunch of the Galleria 33. Hello, how are you? Can I have your name? Mendoza. Pat, you're pissing all over the floor. Oh. Good evening, ladies. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. And uh, I just want to let you know that we have a beautiful fish tonight. It's called Branzino. Psst. Smile. He's, uh, he's uh, very good. And the risotto is unbelievable today. OK? Explain the small plates. Small plates. Tasty. And uh, we also have, uh, like, a small plate. Jesus you know, like Christ. To start. I'm going to start off with the small plate of lamb. Two other some appetizers to start. The arancini. So meatball, calamari, oh, yes. arancini. Rita. Bring some orders here so they don't come all at once. You okay? People coming in and I don't see orders. How long for the first order, please? I don't know. Oh my god, this thing. We need some orders in here, please, guys, yeah? Rita. What, honey? It's not going in, I don't know why. Oh my god. This thing is not working. Uh, chef. Yes. This is, doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? It's not going through. It's not going through. Can we use the other one around the corner? The one over here, Sarah. Yeah. Try it over here, honey. Why is that not going through? We had them on this afternoon, didn't we? You OK? This has to be shut down. It's not working. Fuck. This one's not working either. Fuck. It's really stressful. Is it OK? Is it on? 
Not yet. I think this place is cursed. Fuck you, bitch. Let's just use checks. Yeah. We need to regroup and, you know, and just keep moving. Paper checks, paper checks. Do you have yes. paper checks? Yes. Right. Thank you. That was great from Lisa to step up that moment and bring us the regular checks. Paper checks. It feels really good that we have a boss. OK, Michael, now there's no more computer. The POS system's gone down, and we do handwritten tickets. Uh, chef, order. Let's do it. With Lisa having a quick solution to the ticket problem... Can I give you an order? Yes. Michael, there's one here as well. Thank you. Chef Doug and Chef Mike work together to get the kitchen back into gear. You ready to plate that gnocchi? You got your small plate ready? Whenever you're ready, send it out. That's for you. Yes. We're going on that first ticket. You ready? Take this one. Thank you. And as a result, the much-anticipated small plates... I have the lamb pigs and the meatballs. ...are now heading out to the diners. Wow, that's really good. It's perfectly fried. Very cool. I like it. This is amazing. I need gnocchi and chicken marsala. OK, we need a gnocchi and a marsala. It's working. OK, I need a mancini. OK, let's start off. Salt. No, no, no. Look, come here. Why are you Rosa. doing that? Rosa! I'm sorry. I'm just used to putting them here. I know you're used to... It's simple, but you make it so difficult. Who's expediting tonight? Rita, sorry. The staff, they're just like a bunch of misfits. They don't listen to me. Do you want to go backwards or to go forwards? Go no, forward. Right, get used to change, young lady, or go home. I really hope this fucking bitch doesn't mess this up for me. Chef, table two, anytime you can fire. What is it, man? Miguel? Gnocchi, agnolotti and marsala. Yeah, you got it right now. No marsala, he does not have that. No marsala? I have a marsala, yes, he's here. marsala, I'm Rita, he's here marsala. No marsala. Jesus Christ, Mickey, get out of here. I'll tell you what I need. Marsala and I need agnolotti. Marsala you need to speak agnolotti. to me. It's right over here. I Get you just said no more salad. I need a more Shut your face. You know, I can't, I can't yeah, deal with this up. fucking stupidity. Lisa, can I, I need one. Long time ago, they ordered the lady. Don't yeah. shout at her. Get out of here, Miguel. What is wrong with Medium, you? Medium, Fuck you. That's too stinks. Get a grip and start listening and do what I am saying. listening to you, OK? So no, you just leave me alone. I'm working this way. If you're not happy with me, tell me to get the fuck out of here. I will leave you. Hey, look at me. I don't Sorry. care what you do. Don't start. I don't care. Don't you start. Want, okay? Don't you start. I don't care what you In front do. of these customers, don't you start. I'll drag you outside. And what? What are you going to do? Yeah, I'll, do you know what I'll do? It's relaunch night at La Galleria 33. He no needs a mask. Shut your face. And Waiter McKaylee's lack of communication with Rita... If you're not happy with me, tell me to get the fuck out and we'll leave here. ...is putting the service in jeopardy. In front of these customers, don't you start. I'll drag you outside. And what? What are you going to do? I'll make you respect the fucking owners. Don't start. No, no, don't start. So this is like my big open to McGee. This they is what you do to me. That's two stinks. It's like the lunatics leaving the asylum. You're expediting. I am. We just shoot ourselves in the foot there. We're just destroying ourselves. I don't know why we're doing it. Don't take shit from them. No, I'm not going to no, take no shit fucking way. Lift it up now, yeah? Yeah. OK. Now, Lisa, the restaurant's full now. You raise your game and follow the waiters every time. Own it now, yeah? Yeah. Lift it up a little bit. Yes. Here, got to drive them. Regroup them, get them together, and finish strong. What makes this fucked up is the staff. They're not respecting me. They're not understanding it's a new system. I have to beat them into that. Miguel, I need you. I want you to listen Make to me. Sure. This is really important. No, they give me that no, 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 I want you to listen. When you call something, who's the one person you come to? I come to Rita. Me, See, because I get shutting confused. over Doug. He's in the no. thick of it now. He's me, busy now. Me. OK, I'll call you. Did this one I didn't find yet. They're still working on the appetite. But do they, do they have these appetites? Yeah, they're eating the appetite. Okay, so I I'm need just to gonna... know because I need to cross. All right, so I will tell you when they're done yes. for the entry. Yes, yes. Yes. Just take a deep breath and relax. You're just nervous. We can't revert back to, you know, the old way of doing things. Reader and I, we need to take the reins and get back on top of things. Fire, two specials, a large gnocchi, and a veal sobuco. We got this. We got this, guys. Of course we do. Hey, listen, you're doing a great job. Rita? Yes. These branzinos go with one large risotto. Sarah? Yes. Start to take these. Okay. Start to I'll take start these. I'll start them right now. And uh, we have the lasagna, ladies. 
I really apologize for the wait. It's great. <laughs> and there was your Agnolotti and enjoy the one. Thank you so much. Sorry about the delay. That's okay. The customers seem to really love the food. It's nice to see people actually finish a dish. They're not giving them oversized portions of orange shit. It feels good knowing that it's good, that we're serving delicious food and that people are enjoying it. You got the rocket tonight. That's gone, right? Yep, so I'm just waiting on this and then all my tables will be eaten. Gnocchi, Marsala. Thank you, chefs. Very yeah, nice. Thank you. I think that's everything. OK, beautiful. I'm a champ. I am. It just rolls. My head is so busy. Isn't that great? It's wonderful to see teamwork. It really is. I took control of the Galleria 33. Doug, good job. Well done. We did good. It was hard. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Wow. What a night. Well done. It wasn't perfect. Yes, there were bumps, but we didn't give up. No. People love the food. And Rita and Lisa, that says a lot about your chef tonight. Doug really stepped up, really delivered, and you maintained your standards from the first dish to the last. So well done. Thanks. Very nice, Doug. Really well done. Very good, Doug. In the end, the most important thing is every member of staff here tonight listened to the owners. And it wasn't the owners listening to the staff. It was reversed. That's the way it's going to be. Get used to it. That's the way it is. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on. Yes. I'd like two minutes with the owners. Please. Come over here. Come over. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. I yes. think that once they run this a few more times and that POS system isn't broken, I think that I think it's going to be fabulous. I'll stand here. What, what's the matter? You have two arms. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, here, 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 here's what I saw. Two owners uh, running their restaurant, not the restaurant yeah. running them. Yeah, now, that's important. It is. You've got it. You've got to stay on it. But you never, ever, ever become beholden to your staff again. Right. All right. Well done to both of you. Thank you. OK, look after yourselves. All right. Yeah? Mwah. I wish okay. you would stay, just... Yeah. I want to keep him. I feel like I'm holding a pistol when he's around. I just feel, like, so empowered by him. I'll tie him up to a boiler downstairs. Please. He's staying. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. I wish you could stay. What a week. Uh, I wish it was that easy. There are other nightmares out there. Bigger than me, you think? <laughs> Ask me that question in six months' time, I'll tell you. All right. Look after yourselves. OK, yeah. and good luck. All right, thank okay. you. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. Good night. Thank you, Chef. Good thank night. You. Good night, good night, good night. I'm so sad to see him go. I never thought I would say that. I hated that man two days ago, and he's just, he's great. I really love him. He really lifted us up. Sad. It's leaving. Mm. Well. <sighs> wow. This has been one of the most unusual yet, one of the most enjoyable kitchen nightmares I've ever done. And I'm so proud of how far these two sisters have come in only a matter of days. There may be one of eight Italian restaurants in the North End, but to me personally, they're always going to be very special, let me tell you. Wow, Ozabuco, lamb. Are you kidding me? Seafood ravioli, Gordon, special. wait, Gordon, Chef Ramsay. Chef Ramsay, you can't go. I cannot stay. You can stay. I, 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 just like, just I, I, 20 more I, I, minutes. I, I can't stay. Just one or so more. more. I, I can't. In the weeks that followed, Rita and Lisa took Chef Ramsay's advice and took charge of their restaurant. I want you to take the old Galleria out of your head. They not only set new rules, but we're diligent in enforcing them. This is definitely going back. This wasn't the way the lasagna looked. There was one casualty, however, and that was Sarah, who preferred her own set of rules. Right here, chef. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, just like their parents, Lisa and Rita have a successful restaurant in Boston's North End. I just want to say that I was like a koala bear. Even though Lisa like expressed all her bitchiness, I was ready. I was yeah. a soft, cuddly koala bear, but I had my claws ready to go just in case. But 
I love You didn't Gordon. look like you had any claws. I was ready. Up his ass, no matter where he Well, was. I wanted to hear what he had to say, everything. I loved it. I want him back. Where is he? I'm going to go find I him. I love him now, yeah.